If you use a Samsung smartphone, then you would be very familiar with the Samsung camera app, right? It's a very powerful app. It allows you to take photos and videos very quickly with different modes. And if you want more control, you got the pro mode where you can go adjust every setting like the ISO, white balance, shutter speed and whatnot, right? To capture that moment. Now, what if you wanted more, more control on not only how the camera app captures the photo, but also how you can have the flexibility to go and edit after the fact that you have captured the photo. And of course, all of these to suit your needs, right? And if that is what you're looking for, then the Samsung's Expert Raw app is what you should be using. Now, hang on a second. Are you asking me to just switch to Expert Raw app and just, you know, don't use the standard camera app? No, that's not what I'm saying. If your goal is to just point and shoot with your phone and then share that photo instantly with your friends and family, then you should keep using the camera app that comes with your Samsung phone, right? But if you are someone that is looking to, you know, adjust the settings before taking the photo and after taking the photo, then the Expert Raw app gives you all of those options. This may be applicable for advanced photography, right? Not for everyday photography use. So that's when the Expert Raw app comes very useful. Now there are three reasons why the Expert Raw app makes sense than using the Pro mode in your standard camera app. The first one is focus on photos. The camera app has lots of distractions, right? It has a lot of modes. So if you're taking a photo, you need to select whether you're going to choose the single take mode or the portrait mode or the director's view, do I have to record a video? So many things. But with the Expert Raw app, the only thing that you can do is take a photo. So it's very much geared towards taking just photos and that's good, right? Because it's good in the sense that now your goal is set. You just wanna take a great photo and the app allows you to take great photos without any distractions around. Number two, advanced control. So. The Pro Mode does have a lot of controls, right? In your standard camera app, if you switch to Pro Mode, you get to adjust the ISO settings, the shutter speed, the white balance, and the exposure and the focus, right? You got the same things available here in the Expert Draw app. Along with that, you also get a histogram that is very useful, right? Histogram shows you a graph. With that graph, what you can infer whether is your photo overexposed or underexposed. If in the histogram, if the graph is far towards the left, that means it's underexposed, right? If the graph is far towards the right, it means it's overexposed. So now you can use these values, the ISO, the shutter speed, the exposure levels to control and balance that using that histogram, right? And histogram is live, so you can always see how things are changing as you change these settings, which is very useful for advanced photography techniques. And on top of that, I feel like this is the most important thing that is very useful with the Expert Raw app. With the Expert Raw app, once you select a lens, the camera app will make sure, the Expert Raw app will make sure that even when you zoom in, it does not switch the lens automatically right so then you will be able to get the benefits of the zoom levels just within the wide angle lens right of course if you are using ultra wide angle lens you know you can only zoom in to certain extent and that is also controlled by the expert raw app so it just doesn't allow you to zoom to 100x with the ultra wide there are some levels that each of these lenses depending on the samsung phone you have would be able to figure out and allow that zoom in value with your expert raw app. So that's something I've found very useful, especially when I am in my wide angle lens and I just have to zoom in a little bit, I don't have to switch to telephoto lens, right? And same thing with the telephoto lens, if I have to zoom in even more, um, I don't have to keep switching lens, I can just use that lens to zoom in and zoom out. So yeah, of course, this is not something you would be using every day, right? This is very specific to specific occasions. And that's why the Expert Draw app is not something you would use every day, but whenever you see that great moment that you want to capture, whether that's like sunset, sunrise, or a great landscape or low light 
photography even. That's when you can switch to the Expert RAW app and use these advanced settings to control how the image is captured. The third one is the powerful RAW output you get from the Expert RAW app. With the Pro mode in your standard camera app, you can certainly save the image as RAW image. So then you get more options and flexibility to edit the different settings like shadows and exposure levels and uh, depth of field, especially for portrait photos, everything that you can do with the raw image after the fact that you have taken the photo. The same thing applies for the Expert RAW app. One of the things that Samsung does with the raw format you get from the Expert RAW app is it adds more dynamic boost, bringing in more detail for the shadow and the darker areas in within the photo. That is very important, right? And it's something very important for low light photography as well. So that's why Samsung has recommended for advanced photographers, if you are looking to take a great shot during the night or during low light situations, then the Expert RAW app is going to give you the detail, right? So you can then go and use other apps to edit that RAW file and adjust these different settings. Now, this is something that Samsung could have added in the pro mode, but I'm not sure why, but as for now, as it stands, you would have to use the Expert RAW app if you want to really get that powerful RAW output with the wider dynamic range boost, which allows you to go and edit all of these different settings more naturally to fit your needs. Now, if you want to edit the raw image that comes out of the Expert RAW app, and if you open the Expert RAW app gallery, you would notice that there is a button for Lightroom, dedicated button for Lightroom. Yeah, Samsung recommends Lightroom to edit these photos because Lightroom supports the 16-bit raw DNG format that Samsung uses for the Expert RAW app. So if you don't have a Lightroom subscription, you can still edit. Like I don't have a Lightroom subscription, but I was able to go and edit some of the basic settings that I would, I would usually edit when I have a raw image, right? So once you tap that Lightroom button, it will import that photo into you, your Lightroom. And then now you can go ahead and start editing the photo settings, like the light settings, the exposure settings, the white balance and everything. And because it's a raw image, it has lots of potential to adjust every single setting you have for that photo. And that's very powerful. You can just take a photo and make it look completely different by editing the raw file. And that's what it's intended to do, right? Giving you that control in how you want that photo to look. So Lightroom is a great app, but if you're looking for a simple app, a free app, you know, to put it that way, then Google Snapseed is a great option. Google Snapseed also supports editing 16-bit RAW files. So once you have Google Snapseed installed, you can import the photo from the gallery app. And from your gallery app, there will be a folder called Expert RAW. So you can go into that and then you can import that photo into your Google Snapseed. And then that will allow you to edit the raw photos. The Snapseed app is great. If you want to use that, I would highly recommend it. It's free, it's you know available for all Android phones. Um, so you can use that app to edit the 16-bit RAW files coming out of the Expert RAW camera app. For those of you who are not familiar with these advanced photography settings like ISO, shutter speed, white balance, you know, take your time, use the app, try out these settings, you know, modify and see how things work and how things don't work. You know, that will give you the understanding of what these settings are. So I hope that gave you a good introduction to the Expert RAW app and how to use it in your Samsung phone. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about the Expert RAW app? If you're using it, let me know if it has helped you capture great photos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna keep getting more tips and tricks you can do with your phone and smartwatch. Until next time, bye.